Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at drilling this hole on our very first project here. So I'm going to head over to the main toolbar, and underneath our CAM category, I'm going to select Stock Tool Pass by left clicking. And you'll notice that within 1CNC, there's really two ways we can drill holes. There's the hole wizard, which I'll demonstrate later on, and then we have drill single. Now, even though that says drill single, you can definitely drill multiple holes with this. But let's go ahead and use this. I'm going to left click on drill single. Once we do that, we get this little dialog box, and this is just the method that we'd like to select our hole. Notice that we can type in coordinates, we can sketch locations, we can click on endpoints, arc center, intersections, and so on. I'm going to go with arc center, just left click that, take my cursor, and just left click on that arc center, and there we go, the location's in there. Now once we have the location, just like with these operations here, when we're done selecting, you want to right hand mouse click. I'm going to click finish, and then here's our first dialog box. And just like these operations here, the very first dialog box is select a tool. Alright, so I already have the diameter in here at a half inch. We've got our included angle at 118. Don't forget the length is just how far the tool sticks out past the holder. So if I change that to one inch, you can see that change there. I'm going to put that to 1.5. That looks good. This is your turret position. I've got three there. There's your spindle speed. And our feed rate, oh, five inches a minute is okay for me. So I'm going to leave that alone and then click next. Okay, so now we have our clearances. These are named a little bit differently, but you can see we have a rapid Z-plane. I have that at a half inch. We have an initial and a retract Z-plane. I've got my initial set to 50 thousandths, my retract Z-plane at zero, and my final depth, I'm going to go at minus 800 thousandths. Now, notice too that there's two very important options down here. There's machine cycles and automatic custom. Machine Cycles is going to output a CAN cycle, like a G81, G82, and G83. Automatic Custom is going to output just simply rapid and feed moves, in other words, G0 and G1s. All right, so let me show you the difference here. If I select Machine Cycles and click Next, one CNC gives me a list of machine cycles I can select from, or CAN cycles. Now, if I click back here, let's change this to Automatic Custom and click Next. When we do that, it's a different dialog box because we're not outputting a CAN cycle and you've got standard, peck, deep hole, and so on. I'm going to go back, I'm going to change this back to Machine Cycles. I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to choose the G83 Deep Hole Drilling Cycle. So it's going to output that CAN cycle for me, and I already have a peck increment of 150 thousandths. This Retract Mode, this is just your G98 and G99. I don't need to worry about that for right now. I'm going to click Finish, and there we go. There is our drilling operation. Now, before I finish this video, there's something I want to point out. Once you accumulate your machining operations, they get displayed on the screen, but they only get displayed one operation at a time. And for example, right now you can't see the facing operation or the profiling operation, and in that, as far as that goes, we're looking down on the part, we can't even see the drilling operation. If you want to see any of these, just simply left hand mouse click on the operation. You don't have to double click, just simply left hand mouse click. One CNC automatically does this because it doesn't want to clutter the screen with a whole bunch of toolpath. It really it can make it tough when you're picking geometry for subsequent machining operations. So what we do is we just show one toolpath at a time. All right. Another thing I want to point out too is that when you have your your toolpath up here, if I rotate, if I pan, or zoom in and zoom out, one CNC is going to make that disappear as well. If you want to see it, just left hand mouse click. We can left hand mouse click on any of these. There's our profiling, and there's our there's our drill cycle right there. Okay, so I didn't want you to think that one CNC was missing by not showing the toolpath. It's done on purpose to to keep this area nice and clean and only show you the toolpath that you're concerned about. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.